Yo, coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash, double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, much blessing and salutations to the elect who are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out his truth and his truth and sincerity. All right, uh, so I just want to do, uh, you know, my response to this video that the Apostle Ram Lab did entitled uh, The Bitterness. All right, and it goes into how, you know, in this truth, all right, we're going to go through a lot of bitter bitterness. All right, that's a lucky I'm here on the at the job right now. Just a, basically a transit video. Um, so just bear with me. But uh, nonetheless, you know, I wanted to get into a few things here as well because, as you see here on the screen, the possibility of the bitter and he used the plaintiff for the adjective that meaning describing it. And it says, a people or their feelings or behavior angry, hurt, or resentful because of one's bad experiences or its sense of unjust treatment. All right, and then when we go through this truth, you know, like the apostles went into, you know, sometimes we feel like we've, we've been, um, we we have a sense of unjust treatment, and we we have to realize that these this is all a part of being in this truth. That all all this um, all the things that we go through is all a trying of our faith. All right, to see whether we are in the faith or not. All right, and that's why it's, it's important to always examine thyself. All right, but first and foremost, let me get into the scripture because uh, to these scriptures. All right, because let me get into. Uh, a couple of precepts that the apostle brought out this is ecclesiastes chapter one and uh, i'm gonna start at verse 17 and it says and i gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly i perceive that this is also vexation of spirit all right and it says for in much wisdom is much grief all right and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow all right and you see when we go when we come into this truth all right like the lord um told ezekiel that it should be sweet in thy mouth all right, but bitter in thy belly. All right, when we come into this truth, we see that all the all the BS that we go through in this life that, well, not that we go through, but that, that we do when we were in the world and everything that these people do in this world is all vexation of spirit. All right, it says, let me read 17 again. It says, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. And we, we when we were in the world, we knew that madness and we knew that folly because we were all partakers of it. All right, but it said what I perceived because once we gave our hearts to know wisdom, all right, we perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. And now that we're in, we come into this truth, we see that the way that these people act and the things that they do is all vexation and it vexes us. All right, matter of fact, let me get that word um, vex. All right. Oh, actually, let me pull up the, the etymology of it. And get up that word vexation. The noun, it says abuse harassment insult affront all right or directly from latin latin vexini, vexianum annoyance all right distress trouble okay and that's what this that's all what this world brings us man is is, is trouble all right everything of, that is of the world at the end of the day brings us trouble which is trouble in the spirit man and it's going to come times all right in in our walk of of uh, of faith that we're going to come into physical trouble because of this world, man, and the things that these people uh, do. Because these people truly and, and, and wholeheartedly hate us, okay? They hate the fact that we call them out for the things that they do, all right? And sometimes you don't even have to call them uh, these people out on their, their madness and folly, all right? All you got you, you to do is, is just... Um, not be partakers of it and people look at you with a side word, uh with, with their neck all sideways man let me get that real quick oh because even when we're out on the highways and byways the people look at us like we're like we're bugged out man and that's vexing man it's vexing to see our own people the so-called negroes latinos and native americans looking at us when they see us out on the highways and byways preaching this truth trying to wake them up to get them out of that mat the madness all right they look at us with disdain, man. Disdain. All right, so let me get this. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. It says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish. And who are those that are going to perish? First and foremost, two-thirds of Israel is going to get put to death, man. So says the scriptures. All right? But it said, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. So they see us out on the highways and byways, and they look at us 
Like this is like we're just a bunch of fools, man. And they they treat us as such. They treat us like we're fools. All right, and that's vexing, man. You know that that's that that makes our spirit bitter. All right, because we know that what we're doing is 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 a uh, we're putting ourselves a living sacrifice, man. And we wholeheartedly put our entire heart to doing this work, man. You know. And, you know, it, it, you get to the point where it really don't bother you no more, man. But when you first start coming to this truth and these people giving you all hell, your family giving you shit about going out and doing this word, they, they talking all types of, they calling you all types of names. All right. It, it, it's bitterness, man. You know, it, it, it gets you, you know, then Satan, these demons start to plague you like, man, am I doing uh, and what what I am doing? Is it is it really what I'm supposed to be doing? You know, and I'm, I'm, you know, I speak from experience, you know, when you first come into this truth, man, you get all these people talking all types of madness, right? But again, that's all trying of our faith, man. Okay. And I'm going to get that. Matter of fact, let me get it right now. Uh, all right. This is, uh, James. Chapter 1 and verse 3 says, well, I'm going to start at the top. It's, well, I'll just start at verse. Well, yeah, I'll start at the top. James chapter 1 verse 1 it says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, man. All right. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh, worketh patience. All right. And when these people, they coming at you with all this, that calling, you know, calling you all types of names, trying to, uh, cause trouble you know at the camps or even at your house or your own household your woman might be trying you know trying to tempt you man trying to uh trying to get you to fall out of this truth man you know all that bitterness starts to build up inside you all right and it gets to the point to where you know you you might be the satan might try to tempt you to go off man to just snap and just say to you know to say to, to hell with this you know and lord willing you know that doesn't happen with me or my uh myself or any other brother man but it's gonna come you know and those that do end up falling out because of those temptations, you know, all that bitterness that comes towards them, all right, because that's what that, that's what that, um, the bitterness brings. The bitterness it bring, will bring temptation to you, man, all right, it'll tempt you to go, to, to fall out of this truth, man, because you, you it, Satan will be in your ear whispering like, man, this is too much, you know, like, I can't continue to, you know, to so-called suffer like this, man, but really, we have a great reward if we continue to suffer, all right? Because there's a such thing as suffering for righteousness sake, you know, and when you pushing out this truth that people are coming on you, like your family members or your your woman are actually coming at you saying, you know, speaking all madness, like, oh, you, why, why are you hanging out with these guys that, you know, they, they're not your brothers, you know, uh, why you keep going out there, you know, going out to the highways and byways, your, your job might let you go because they find out you're doing this truth, you know, all that is, 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 is bitter because it, it, you, it stresses you out, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, so like, let me check. Okay, come. at the end of the day, you know, you got to continue to endure because it's all temptations. And as we're going to read is it's working is trying our faith. All right. It says verse three, it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So you see, as we go through all this bitterness or all these all and all the temptations that that bitterness brings. All right. Because of these people of this world. All right. We is actually working our patience. All right, it's actually giving us a, a better hope, okay? Which is what we're going to get into as well, which this gets into, all right? Verse 4 says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and enter wanting nothing. So you see, yeah, we're going to go through certain things. We're going to be, uh, we're going to have to suffer the, the bitterness of this world and have to deal with the these people, all right, it, it, with, you know, which in their eyes, the, this preaching, the preaching that we do is foolishness, you know, and that's why we say through the foolishness of preaching, uh, well, we'll get back into it in, in Corinthians, but that's what these people ultimately at the end of the day, they feel like what we're doing is foolishness. All right. And that's bitter to us, man. Really. When you really think about it, man, it is really full. You know, it, it really it should anger you, man. Like, man, like, like here it is. We're preaching out. We're preaching the words of the Lord. And you saying that we're fools. Like, man, that shit, that shit stir your, stir your spirit up. You know, especially when you first coming into this truth. You know, over time you're gonna get into you're gonna get into a point where you become more seasoned and you deal with it better. But it's still it's something that's vex, vexing to the spirit, man. All right. 
but once uh continuing on in here um let me see uh, i think that was it on that um i know there's another one well yeah let me skip on down here to uh, verse 12 it says blessed is the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the lord hath promised to them that love him let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the most high. Well, the point, you know, the point is there in 12. It says, blessed is the man that endures temptation, man. All right. All these things that come your way because of this bitterness of this world, you're tempted to uh, to want to, you know, just fall out the truth. You know, Satan might be bug messing with your mind, you know, your your your, your heart. And it, you might get to the point where you're like, man, I'm, I'm ready to get out of this, man. This is too much, you know, but you got to continue to push, man. You got to continue to endure. Okay, it says, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And you see, at the end of the day, that's where that, that's where that, that sweet comes out of that bitter as well, man. Because we know that we're going to receive that crown of life, man. We know that we're going to receive salvation if we continue to endure for, 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 for this righteousness, man. For, for righteousness sake. Okay, so let me get back to Corinthians. Read, let me read Corinthians again. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 18. It says, For the preaching of this cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. So you see, at the end of the day, that's what this truth is, man. It's, po it's, it's, it's power. All right, us pushing out this truth, man, that, that it, it, uh, gives us power, man. All right, and first and foremost, at the end of the day, we're going to have power over death, man, because we're going to conquer it, you know? But meanwhile, we have to suffer the bitterness of, 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 of being in this world, man, and dealing with... with um, the, these people, man, and the spirits out here, all right, because it is gonna, it is gonna get to the point where it might seem too much, but you, we have to continue to endure, man. All right, let me get another one here in Ecclesiastes. I don't want to make this too long. Um, what was it? Uh, Ecclesiastes seven. Yep, Ecclesiastes seven and seven. It says, uh, it says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. And surely oppression does make us mad, man. You know, you wake up to the fact that that you're an Israelite, all right, and you go out on the highways and byways and you start to do do this work that is commanded of us to do, all right, you, you, you're going to be mad, man. You're going to be stressing out, man. You're going to be, uh, you're going to feel within your belly, you're going to feel that bitterness, man, within your spirit. You're going to feel the bitterness of this world because we we see the, the we have now the wisdom, all right, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we see that what we're enduring and what we're having to go through is, is is oppression, man. It's a it's oppression, all right. And then these people, two thirds of our own people, they come and they further try to put more oppression on us, man. All right. They start to further uh, put that oppression on us. Okay. And let me um, I'm gonna let me get one more with saying that. All right. What is that, Luke um, four and twenty four? This is like Luke chapter four and twenty four, and he said. And this is that this is Yahweh Shai said, and he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country, man. All right, and, and, and with even within our own people, we're not accepted because these people are wicked as all hell. All right, but even within our own cities that we live in, man, when we go out and preach the truth, man, we're not accepted because why? Because we're we're preaching the truth, man. All right, and like the Lord again told Ezekiel, it's gonna be it's gonna be bitterness, man. This is um Ezekiel chapter 3, and it said, verse verse 1, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go. Speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. So we eat this word, we, we, we ingest this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right. And we see that it's, it's sweetness in our mouth, man, because we know that we're going to get the, the, the riches of the kingdom. We're going to receive that crown of life. OK. And he's, and then let me get on to the part where it says that it's bitter. Um, I think it's in here. Come on. Uh, what is I thought it was in here. Um, let me just uh, do a quick Google. 
search. Says, all right, so Revelation 10 and 9. Thought it was in Ezekiel, but let me just uh, just bear with me, Akim. This is Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9. It says, And I went unto the angel, and he said, And he said unto me, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And that little book is talking about the scriptures, man, which is where you find knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says, Eat it up, and it shall make thy biller belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey man so it's gonna make us it's gonna make us bitter because <clears throat> again like king solomon said all right we see that all is is all this vexation of spirit man all right we see that all of this all that that happens in the world and the the spirit that these people have on them is all madness and folly all right and because we're we don't we don't we don't condone that and we don't partake in that in the madness and folly of this world all right it, it, it causes us to receive even more bitterness, all right, from the people, especially our own people, two-thirds of our own people, okay? And they reject us, and, it, and they try to make our lives a living hell, especially these women, all right? These women will, you know, try to take your kids from you, you know, for and I, and I went through that, man, twice with two different women. The first woman actually took me to court for this truth's sake. You know, try to take my my daughter away from me because of this truth, and that's what makes this that's what makes this truth coming into this truth bitter, man. Because you're gonna have to suffer things like that, man. Here it is. I, I'm preaching the word of the of the Lord for salvation for my daughter, and you know, at the time for her as well. You know, for that so that they could receive salvation. Because at the time, I you know, I cared for the woman, but here it is because of the bitterness of this truth. You know, the the foolishness of preaching onto the those that perish. She had to try and uh, take my daughter from me. He tried to have me arrested, which the, the Lord had it to where she got arrested. All right. She tried to call the cops on me and she got arrested. And you see, that's a, again, that's a part. That's a good example. And Salaki, I got to speed up here a little bit. Just bear with me real quick. Salakia. Salakia. But yeah, man, you see, so we go, we got to go through, we're going to go through bitterness in this truth, man. And then the second woman after, you know, after a while, you know, the second woman, she, uh, you know, she was giving birth, she was going to give birth to my son. You know, she actually ended up leaving me because she said she wasn't going to be second to nobody. She basically gave me an ultimatum saying that easy. I was either going to put her above the most high, put her and my son above the most high, or she was going to leave me. And, 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 and then, basically you know at this at this time my son wasn't even born but you know and and i didn't come to find out when my son was born till months after he was born man he was already like six months old when when uh when i actually found out that he was even alive i thought i, I was at the point where i thought she was she had got him aborted you know and so you see those 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 are examples of the the bitterness and the the the, the tribulations that we're gonna have to, we go through in this truth man so you have to prepare for that, man. You have to count the cost, okay? Hey, but with that, you know, I don't want to continue to uh, ramble on. You know, I got to, you know, just uh, through spirit, I wanted to put in my two cents on the, uh, on the topic of the bitterness, all right, of coming into this truth, man, and, and the bitterness of this, of this, uh, of this word, you know, because there is, there is a bitterness to this word, all right, as we read, all right, it's sweet, and I'm, and sweet as honey in our mouth, but bitter in our belly, man, all right, and we, we, we read that. Okay, but with that, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachak Wadash. Also, you know, Shalom to to the Aqua who might have tuned in, you know, and, and were edified. Uh, first, you know, I want to give all the glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and its truth and sincerity. And with that, Shalom.